Hi guys, welcome to the house of Ritika, where decor meets culture and conversations. We talk about real life, real people, real stories. Today we have Shanai with us, who is a songwriter and a singer. Hi Shanai. Hey Ritika. What's going on these days? Nothing much. Performing, traveling, making music, meeting interesting people. That that sounds so musical. Uh, so Shana, you have this story where you know you were working for someone, and it was obviously a corporate job and this and that. And from that to following your passion and uh, being the musician right. that you are today, just just can you like tell me about the whole journey? So well, I think I was nineteen when I had a chance to go to Romania for an internship. and sort of changed my entire life because i was put into this country which i had no idea about right. it was a teaching internship so i sort of broke out from my shyness and you know realized that you know i'm capable of doing something in life so when i came back i thought i want to do something which makes me proud or right. which makes a difference so i started my career as an entrepreneur when i was 19 did that for so yeah <laughs> so I was financially independent. I was traveling. I was meeting people. So it was in the education space. So okay. Did that about for three and a half years, and then I had the opportunity to move to San Francisco, where actually music started. Okay. I started making my own songs. I started playing open mic nights. I was busking on the streets, and then obviously because of certain visa regulations, I had to come back. And uh, that's when I started performing in Mumbai. But uh, obviously, you have to run your household, make money. <laughs> uh answer to your parents so uh, that's that's yeah very important so instead of being a hippie i decided that i should earn some money and prove to myself that i'm you know capable of you know doing something in life so i started working with a lot of startups so about 7 years of experience in the mm-hmm. startup space right. and while i was doing that in the evenings i was playing music okay um i was actually funnily so music was always a part of your life not really it happened in the later years you know i'm not one of those guys like my charts has se gana ga raha no i started i think pretty much in college but never took it seriously okay. but actually started singing at 23 so uh, you know how different is it you know like music in india versus playing in the us mm-hmm. what is that one thing that probably you know made it so easy for you to start playing music i think primary difference is that for anybody especially me who's not really confident about my art okay. or not really sure what i wanted to do in life it was really encouraging the fact that people you know appreciate even a bad musician or you know they upload after every performance right. the fact that there's so many opportunities to just encourage people who want to pursue something here you know when you say you're a musician the first thing they ask you is like well, what do you do full time Correct. you know like it's not acceptable that somebody can be doing music as a profession right because yeah, it's sort of we are like the first thing obviously that people in their head calculate is like is he making enough to yeah you know, yeah <laughs> <survive. laughs> that's that so i guess the fact that anything that you do that you're sort of you know passionate about can be done for the rest of your life without you know you know doubting the person's talent or i think it's all about intention like if your intentions are good right, right. then it doesn't matter even if you're like you know just making enough to survive so i i remember you talking about uh, playing on the streets right. of uh, it, i i would love to uh, you know listen to that so, story again <laughs> it's it's kind of funny because when i went to san francisco the idea was to just explore and figure out the startup culture right. there because the silicon valley is there right so i like i said i had some money that i'd made from my previous venture yeah. and i thought you know i'll just live there and experience just the you know culture there and maybe get an idea come back to mumbai and work on another venture and in the meanwhile i realized that i was paying rent i was paying for food travel and then i took like a weekend to lake tahoe which is an amazing destination yeah. so in that all i just got carried away and like one weekend i woke up and i realized i had no money left and uh, i had two options either to call back home and ask for money yeah. which would mean yeah. that clearly i screwed up or yeah like an acceptance that out. okay fine you know yeah like, so i was not ready to sort of confess to my parents that paise khatam ho gaye hai abhi kuch jugad karo so instead uh, 
I obviously was there with my co-founder of my previous venture. So he was there and he's like, you know what, why don't you do something where you can support yourself with yeah. music? Yeah. And um, I was like, but what? Like nobody's going to let me play at the bar or restaurant because sure. I'm nobody. I don't have any music. Yeah. I have no recordings. So he said, I'm just start playing on the street. And I'm like, just looking at him and wondering, <laughs> is, is he really serious? And he's like, yeah, I mean, people do it all the time. There are performance venues on the street yeah. dedicated for buskers. That's what it's called. Right. Busking is the art of playing on the street. So I was like, I can't do this. You know, like it's, <laughs> you know, when when you think about it from an Indian standpoint, yeah, it's yeah, beneath it's, you. Yeah. Ke it's it's pe khade ho or, you know, you're doing but, but this. But then that's, that's, I think. And that's when all my sort of, you know, stereotypes and inhibitions, like they right, broke and... Right. Obviously, because I didn't have money, uh, I actually decided to do that. Wow. And uh, the first first day that I went out on the street, I took a small corner on this street called Hidbury and Ash, which is like a popular street in right. San Francisco. And uh, it was like, I deliberately chose a place where nobody looks at me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so you just wanted to like test the water. Yeah. So like for for uh, for an hour and a half, people are passing by. Nobody's caring. I had a hat, you know. So I thought people should tip me, but nobody. And one and a half, two hours. I was just about to like wind up, and it was my last song. And there was this old lady who came. She stopped for a second, smile, and then she put her hand in her bag, and then she dropped a dollar bill, and then she walked away. And once I finished the song, I was like, my first <laughs> earning as a musician. And uh, you won't believe... A dollar. No, no you won't you believe. Won't. I thought it was a dollar. But when I picked it up, it was 10. Oh. And I'm like, this is like unbelievable. Like, I'm That's in a country where nobody knows me. Right. Um, and it was just like wonderful. I think it was like a very uh, spiritual thing where... I realized that, you know, there I didn't have an identity, mm-hmm. I didn't mm-hmm. have my family, yeah. you know, here it's like, oh, whose son are you? Yeah, yeah. it's the, always you, yeah, they, like they, associate the it, they associate you with your name, so they sort of, which community you come from, where you live, all of that, and this was like a blank slate, and yeah. that's when I realized that the power of music is so much that, you know, you yeah. could be nobody, you know, we're listening to... Uh, songs which we don't understand with the chart busters you know yeah. today in foreign languages I know, I know. so that's how my journey started that's that's very inspiring I'm sure like more people who are wanting to get into music would you know start doing something about it finally so that was the US story now right. cut to Mumbai what's happening in Mumbai like like Tell me the whole journey of how right. you started and you know what you're doing these Correct. days. So like I mentioned, you know, I started my career as an entrepreneur. So right. startups were always close to my heart. So once I came back, I had to make money and find a job for myself. Uh, we all have to. And uh, so I took up a job at Zomato. And back okay. then it was just starting out in Mumbai. Right. And uh, so I worked there and a couple of other startups also in the food and beverage space. So what happened is uh, I had a lot of clients at Zomato and they didn't have live music. So one day I just thought to myself that, listen, I want to just try this out, whether I'm good enough or people like me. So I went to one of my clients and I told him, you know, I, you know, play music and I'd like an opportunity to play at your cafe. (laughs) She's like, okay, I mean, we're trying to do something interesting at a Friday night. So maybe we'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. And that's how it started. But that, that was like easy. I mean, that was just like, you just approached somebody and they were like, okay, yeah, yeah, come. Yeah, I mean, he told me to send me a few recordings. So I sent him like a video from my phone and he's like, okay, we'll try it out for free. It was really sweet of him. Usually people are not that sweet. Yeah, because also I was really sweet to him. I got him good business. So (laughs) it helped. It's always a give and take. (laughs) So yeah, it started that way. And then from one person to the other. And then when I moved out and went to other startups, I had contacts and right. I just utilized what I'd done in a smart way, I guess. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. You just plugged in the right... Uh, yes. So I, I, from the beginning, I built a network of uh, people who could probably help me to get work. Right. Because my idea was that I don't want to be a musician till I'm ready. You know, right. ready like in terms of... Ready in terms of uh, recording and... No, ready in terms of experience, I think. Okay. Primarily experience. 
because i'm not somebody who's trained right and yeah but you make your own uh, i make my own music right now also. so i wanted to make sure that whatever i'm doing in any sort of field i mean i should be better than the average okay slightly yeah, better than the that's, average that's 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 uh, where you like you know all these years uh, you worked on yourself and then then you probably thought of right. getting it out right. so what's happening these days so these days i'm actually working on my ep and uh, i'm making music in hindi writing wow. composing and collaborating with a few artists and i've already released one single which is out on youtube and i'm planning to do uh, four more part of the ep Brilliant. and i'm performing a lot yeah that's i and, think i saw uh, you were one of those traveling social gigs to perform in different cities so it's fun and exciting so like from being a startup guy to to a full time musician right, now that's right. been quite a journey i would like to say this is exactly like a startup i'm treating yeah. i'm treating this like a business it, you have all uh, the i have all the checklist of what i need yeah, to achieve yeah. i have sort of a timeline in my head and like any other startup you have to first build your product right. get it out there yeah so you spent years on product development technically yeah. <laughs> and now you have a launch plan yeah. and a media plan yeah. everything set yes. perfect Um so let's move on to my next section where I'll ask you like five or six questions mm-hmm. and you have to be rapid. Okay, I'll try. Uh it's up. Yes. Something you feel strongly about. Uh karma. Karma. A quote you try to live by. Uh live and let live. Something you're proud of. Uh my music. One weird thing that you like. Uh I think I don't like a lot of things which is really weird. Which is weird. Oh yeah, that is weird actually. Someone who fascinates you. Uh, self-made man. What is the first word in your dictionary? Like the first word, first or your word. personal diary, probably. Um, like people write this O M O R. You know, some people have like. Sure. I've written my own name. I have nothing. You've nothing written on your first page. Okay. Okay. One interesting fact about you. Um, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs, and I'm a musician. Oh my god. That's like that. I've never seen, never heard, seen anybody use that. Like that is good. Thank you. That was perfect. So I got a surprise. Uh, since I thought that, you know, surprise for me. For you, obviously, and the audience who's going to be watching. So I'm going to do a song that I wrote uh, a couple of months back. Wow. On really special instrument called the ukulele. Oh. So. This Yay! Is, this is actually the instrument I to your music today. started with, and this is what I did in San Francisco, did in the street with this beautiful instrument. Okay. It's not a chota guitar. It's called. Yeah, yeah, like chota guitar. Got that a lot, so. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do a song that I wrote called "Keh Do Na." जा इस दिल को तू न सका 
तो फिर देर है किस बात की खूबसूरत है गटाए इस रात की बस इंतजार है तुम्हारे मेरे साथ की बोल दो जो ना मैं कह सका बात दिल में जो रख के मैं तो